the next thing I want to talk about is folders. So I have some folders here that are listed under under these things, um, and and just it's pretty simple. You know, just right click and say I want to do a new folder. Uh, on here, you can, just like in Windows, it will let you create a new root folder like this. Terrible idea. Do not do that. Um, <laughs> you know, always nest your folders under your inbox. Always do that. Uh, the reason why that is, is if we're, like as an IT company, if we're doing exports and migrations and moves, it won't grab these. Really? Yeah. I it's, didn't know that. Yeah, well, not, not by default. So we got to, like... It just gets really hairy if people are creating a, a ton of just folders that aren't necessarily rooted underneath the inbox. By default, Outlook and other applications are assuming everybody's putting everything underneath their inbox. So right. that's where it's going to grab, and that's where it's going to assume it's going to do it, the imports. So if you start putting a ton of folders just underneath your account name, mm -hmm. add juju. Don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I'm not evil. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you would want to right click and create the folder here. So let's, uh, let's say we can call this, um, we already have sales, let's say, uh, forecasting, let's just say, okay. Now I have the forecasting folder, right? And maybe it's got some accounting numbers or some information that I have that I want to do things um, on a periodic basis with that mail content. But let's say you've got 100 folders, right? You're pretty fastidious about how you keep things organized. And um, you like keeping your inbox nice and clean, and you put everything in there. I used to be one of those people. I am not now. <laughs> um, but it's an F, right? So there might be 20 other folder names that are above the character letter of F. So it could be way down this tree. And you don't want us to keep scrolling to go back and find it. Well, yeah. if you see those little stars right next to it, if you click that, and that is a feature that's unique to the Outlook on Mac, it'll pop it up there for your favorites. Now, you can do that on Windows by right-clicking and say Add to Favorites. But they added this nice little charm, this little – and I really do like that. I think that's really a cool little feature. I think that's really awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, and you can tell, oh, this is on my favorites already because it's a solid it star. Has, yeah, it has a star right next to so it. So that pops that up here. Let's say I want to do marketing too, right? And now it puts it up here. So now in this situation, I have just a few folders, so it's not very beneficial because I'm not having to scroll. But it could easily be um, hundreds of folders that you might have stretched oh, down yeah. here, right? Yeah. And then, and then having those, those key ones show up here could be a huge help for you. That's a great point. And yeah, that definitely is more smooth. Right. So then I just go to forecasting, and then I'm looking at the forecasting if I want to look at the marketing. Let me put some, some files in here. Let me do that one here. And let's do this one here. So that way you, when I click on them, you can actually see that there's content in it. Right. And there it is. And if I drop this down and I go to forecasting here, it's the same thing. And if I go to marketing, same thing. Right. It's just a quick shortcut to show you the view of what's there. So it's really helpful, really nice um, for you to be able to do that. Uh, sometimes people might say, you know what, I want to use, I want to have scent up here. Because maybe your scent might be way down here too. Right, because right? it's an S. <laughs> right. So you might like, eh, you know. Now you could shrink your inbox and then get to it. But I mean, who wants to do that all the time? So, yeah. you know, so those are kind of some, some nice little features that you can do with the Outlook version to get some of those favorites working for you um, in, um, in your favor. Okay, so now here's something that's kind of cool. You have these smart folders. What do you think smart folders are, Kaylee? I've never heard that word. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't really see them used too much in Windows, but Apple – and Gmail and other things like that, they tend to have these smart searches. And so they, they tend to think that way. So they knew that a lot of the Apple users, that's the way that they're thinking. So they made sure they had that feature built into the Outlook for Mac. So smart folders are basically predefined searches mm -hmm. that you've created that will look at everything in your inbox or whatever criteria you want, and they'll just display that for you automatically. 
In those folders? In those folders, correct. And it's dynamic. It's based on whatever mail it's coming in. So let's say I want to see wow. every email message for Axiom.com. If I click on that, it's going to show me that. And as I, new messages appear, it's going to be dynamic. It will just keep adding to that list. Um, wow, it's like a simplified rule. Yep, and here's our agenda of what we're covering right here. Yeah. Don't um, give them a sneak peek. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm trying not to, but it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but as you can kind of see here, this is this just anything that's got Axiom.com, it's showing that in the message. And, and any new messages, right, Kaylee? So why don't you do this? Send Axiom.demo uh, an email. Okay. And uh, from your account, and you should see it automatically appear in here, which is kind of cool. So. Um, now, how do you create those uh, those folders? So... First off, if you want to edit an existing folder, you just come under here and you go to the search section that you want to make your adjustment on. And um, not seeing the I'm sending. advanced search here. Mm -hmm. Sent. What's that? I just sent it. So, uh, oh, yep, there it goes. Boom, see, it just showed up now automatically. Isn't that cool? Wow, I like that a lot. That's yeah. a great feature. Um, so in here, let's say that you want to go to tools and uh, where did, oh, here we go. So let's say I want to do a search for cars, okay? And when I did that, see how I have the save search option? So if I hit save search, it, it comes down here, and now I can say anything with cars. So if there's anything that's got the name cars in it, so now send me a new email and it's got the word cars. It'll just really it'll show up there. Okay, just sent it. Okay. Ooh. Isn't that cool? <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's a great feature. Yeah. Now, this smart folders, this is not on what on on Windows, is it? Um, you do have what are called search folders and you can kind of do that. Um, yeah, they're not called smart folders. I've never yeah. heard that name. Yeah. But it's they're right here, search folders. Mm. And you can do things like that and you can create you can kind of create those. Do that. Oh, so they kind of like branded it to their own though. Uh well I think it's uh it's more of a Apple, you can do that with searches. The 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 some of the mail options that come native inside the message, uh the iMail have that capabilities built into it. So I think what they were trying to do is pick nomenclature and kind of go head to head, knowing that um, Apple users are going to be familiar with that. So when they look at that, kind of go, oh, I know what that is because that's what I had in email. Right. So that's kind of how that works. But it's funny. I, I almost never see anybody in Windows doing like uh, searches like that, but on Apple and stuff, that's like, that's something they're- All the time. They're doing it more all the time. Wow, so. well, that's really useful. That's a, yeah.